Right now, members of the Black Lives Matter movement in Des Moines are demonstrating inside the state house for a second day in a row, and they're wanting to take their demands to the governor. The plan for a more perfect union demands a ban on police chokeholds, allowing the Iowa Attorney General to uh, to investigate police misconduct and block the rehiring of officers fired for misconduct. End juvenile detention, decriminalize cannabis, and expunge related criminal records. And finally, they asked Governor Reynolds to sign an executive order reinstating voting rights for felons. We showed up at Terrace Hill um, at her house with a thousand people. Um, when we did something similar, at least Frank County did come out and listen to our demands and, and at least move them forward. We, became, we were really disappointed with the meeting on Monday, but at least he came out and addressed that we exist. Governor Reynolds' office says she's committed to taking action and building on efforts from last year. And new at noon, the governor herself outlined how she hopes to make meaningful change to create racial equity. We're meeting with the legislature right now, both parties. We've had some really, really good conversations regarding um, some three issues that the minority party brought up at their uh, press conference. And so we've met for the last three days. Ho my hope is that we can uh, stand before Iowans and have a bill that, you know, is unanimously passed and signed by the governor. That's a starting point. And the governor said she has not yet met with Black Lives Matter, but is hoping to having those conversations.